What makes a good or great action figure? Let's find out. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today I want to talk about what makes a good action figure. To me there's three main things. One is detail, which is paint and sculpt. Two is articulation. If you don't have good movement, what's the point of an action figure? And third is accessories. You need a good amount of accessories to make the figure a lot of fun. All three of these things combined can make an action figure incredibly good. This is what collectors want in action figures, including myself. Now, if one of these things aren't there, it can really break a figure and have most collectors not happy with it. Even if a specific specific point of articulation is horrible, for example, ankle joints, that's a big no-no. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves and start it off with detail. So getting into the painting and sculpting or the mold, a big part of good sculpting is faces, especially when it's an actor's face. If that is off at all, collectors will just hate it. You don't want a face sculpt supposed to look like Robert Downey Jr. and it ends up looking like Nicolas Cage or somebody. Even comic versions or anime versions of characters, collectors want the faces to look accurate and true to that character. So a face sculpt can definitely make or break an action figure. Collectors also like nice sculpt detail to their action figures, and accuracy is another big thing. That is something Mafex is great with, accuracy. The faces are hit and miss sometimes with them, but they've gotten much better over time. Figure arts is usually always on point with faces as well. McFarland Toys is a company that does does struggle with actors faces but other sculpting on McFarland toys is very nice even Hasbro has been doing fantastic with their face sculpts now for paint collectors do not like sloppy paintwork or sloppy line work or fuzziness with line work this is something that can really aggravate a collector another big thing with the faces is wonky eyes or an eye looking off to the left and one looking off to the right like they're a chameleon or something that definitely breaks a figure easily if the eyes are not centered you drop the ball big time something else that can go a really long way is shading or wash on a figure because it brings out the sculpt detail or the mold of the figure a lot more and it makes a figure just stand out better i know it's not for everyone but i do know a lot of collectors do prefer that but having crisp and clean paintwork on a figure definitely makes collectors happy. Now moving on to articulation. So articulation, this is a huge point to an action figure. If you have bad movement or engineer your figures horribly, then collectors are not going to have fun posing their figures around. A great example of excellent or advanced articulation is Revoltech with their amazing Yamaguchi line. You really need to know how to pose figures in order to appreciate the engineering that goes into this line. Figure Arts can be hit or miss with articulation. Like their MCU figures, a lot of them suffer from bad movement. Even Figma have been lacking with their articulation. Another good example of great movement is the Buzzmod line. They really know how to work in good articulation. Hasbro has also been getting much better with their Marvel Legends line and their Black Series line. McFarlane Toys still struggles with articulation big time. They use these ratchet type joints, so when you try to stand your figure, it'll only work in certain ways, which really does get annoying. Even if you're putting them in certain like crouching poses, you can only move the ankles a specific way because of the ratchet joints. Ratchet joints are good on ankles, but only for big or heavy figures, not every figure you make. So articulation must be worked in really good on a figure or collectors won't have fun with them. So now the last main big thing about what makes a good action figure good is accessories. This one is also huge because minimal accessories means you can't do much with display options. Even if the articulation is there, you're still being limited to different posing options. Giving a figure multiple faces and hands is a huge 
plus, and really should be a basic necessity when it comes to an action figure. No other facial expressions or alternate hands can really dull a figure down big time. Then adding in weapons or other specific accessories to a character really upgrades a figure in a great way. You can have endless posing and display options, combining articulation and accessories. Great examples is SH Figure Arts, BuzzMod, Revoltech, NECA, and some others. Bad examples is McFarlane Toys, because he forces you to buy two versions of that figure, like their recent Blue Beetle movie version, Blue Beetle. Even Black Series lacks a lot with accessories and some Marvel Legends. There is some Marvel Legends characters that do have a nice chunk of accessories, but a lot do not or barely even have any. So accessories plays a critical role in making a great action figure. And another thing I can cover is capes. Now if a figure has a plastic cape, whether it's a hard articulated plastic cape or a soft plastic cape, it really does suck. I know there's some collectors who don't mind it, but I know there is more collectors who prefer to be able to pose a cape to their will with a cloth wired cape. Having a cloth wired cape really does elevate a figure to another level, like a Batman or Superman or Shredder or Piccolo. It really makes a figure look pretty bad when it's stuck in that same pose, especially if you have it in like an action pose. Even if it's a plastic articulated cape, it still just doesn't look right. So there you have it, what makes an action figure a good or great action figure. Three main ingredients that can really turn an action figure into what collectors absolutely love about them. So anyway, that is my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments other things you think can make an action figure a great action figure. Thanks for watching and don't forget, I will catch you on the next episode of Daredevil 19 and I will also see you guys later. Whoa! Yeah! We shall start with revenge. I am the knight. Gonna change the future.